guys please uh, draw this flow chart pending let other get connected draw this flow chart those who ever connected get connected please draw this flow chart सोनाली पाटील ना रिमाइंडर टाकलाय छान चाललंय एक्झामचं बर का वाटलं नव्हतं एवढं स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग जर लिसन गाईज कोणी तो कन्सेंट फॉर्म भरायचा राहिलाय का गुगल फॉर्म दिलेला युनिव्हर्सिटीनं कन्सेंट फॉर्म जर तुम्ही कन्सेंट फॉर्म भरला नाही तर तुम्हाला आय डी पासवर्ड येणार नाही एक्झामसाठीचा सो एव्हरीबडी मस्ट गो फॉर दॅट दिस इज रिमाइंडर फॉर माय साईड ओके हॅव यू कम्प्लिटेड इफ यू हॅव कम्प्लिटेड लेट मी नो If you have finished, we will go to the next point. So, Madam, I will send you a letter mail. in spite of many reminders you are not working uh, for the nac work uh, this is uh, uh, your this behavior is disappointing us as mhanun tila mail ta ka ani amala cc thevat tiganna ani madam na kon tari jodun da ahe ka kon shillak ekdam jawab da karan kaam tar jast ha tana kalna kahani sangitle ke madam mi samjhun ghetle आहे का त्यांना देण्यासारखं टायपिंग बिपिंग असलं तर मग द्यायचं त्यांच्याकडे कलेक्ट टेन्शन आहे येते का त्यांना येईल असं वाटतं का तुम्ही हॅलो वन क्वेश्चन वॉज रेज बाय वन ऑफ द स्टुडंट की गुगल फॉर्म फक्त बॅकलॉग साठी आहे ना 
ऍक्च्युली ती कुठलीही ऑनलाईन घेण्यासाठीचा कन्सेंट फॉर्म आहे त्यामुळे सगळेजण भरा तुम्ही भरला म्हणून तुम्हाला त्याचा काही तोटा नाही होणार आहे बाकीच्यानी भरला म्हणून ठीक आहे त्यामुळे कन्सेंट फॉर्म सगळेजण भरून टाका whether it is done shall i go to the next point हाव यू फिनिश्ड समोन प्लीज रिप्लाय किती वेळ लागतो एवढा चार्ट लिहायला मे आय रीड इट फास्ट टू गेट इट डन फास्ट स्लश ट्रीटमेंट अँड डिस्पोजल मार्क डिस्पोजल मार्केट ओके स्लश डायजेशन अनारोबिक डायजेशन एरोबिक डायजेशन अँड स्लश मिक्सर्स देन स्लश डिवॉटरिंग बेल्ट ओ गॉड बेल्ट प्रेस बेल्ट प्रेस म्हणजे सो आय विल ट्राय टू शो यू द सच फिगर्स यू फिनिश दिस फर्स्ट belt press then filter press then centrifuges so all this process in sh- uh, very uh, with fast i will show you if you have finished this let me know kai challe ke kiti vela he honare disconnect ha ते मधूनच माझा फोन आला की माझा डिस्कनेक्ट होत मी माझ्या ह्याला कनेक्ट केलं तरी अनऑर्गनाइज डे आहे आजचा ओके बेल्ट प्रेस आय विल शो यू हाऊ इट फंक्शन गिव्ह मी अ टू सेकंड see here dewatering method you can see here dewatering method uh, this is a one a hopper bottom type of container can be designed uh, through which you can allow to enter the sewage it is a semi liquid no it is semi liquid or semi solid you can say 
and this belt will push this is a belt the direction of belt you can see is it so this way it is moving this way it is moving this way it is moving this way and it will take this okay so because of that what will happen that uh, sewage will go inside and while if here is a gap so while entering it will uh, go with this gap and further it will converts into the gap will get reduced so automatically compression dewatering and drying will perform here is it so while passing through these process and then solids can be removed it will be free from water content okay so this is the process you can understand this process okay two way pressure this is a pressure section okay and this is a gravity section so gravity section so yeah, the direction is moving in this direction so this movement all these movements movement of this pressure section and gravity section will push that solid material towards this side and when it is passing through these various processes at that time a uh, water will be removed this way you can see here water will be removed this way at various section here at this portion here here at this portion here then uh, with this uh, circle at various portions it will remove the water is it and uh, only the solid particles will remain and here it can be separated out and the water collected from that it can be drained out from the bottom okay so this is the dewatering process you can see then uh, uh, one more figure i will show you that uh, pressing oops where is that no i, I think it is not in this file i don't remember where it is but i had that uh, filtering and pressing one one type of one other one type of technology so if i get time later on and i uh, found it i will show you later on okay okay i will again will go to the our presentation and uh, this is the treatment and disposal process now we will talk about uh, the main objectives of the sludge treatment why should go for the sludge treatment as i have discussed with you orally uh, in this for the first uh, point itself um, but theoretically we will discuss here the main objectives simultaneously you can keep on copying so it will save our time so first objective is to reduce the volume of sludge for disposal by removing the quantity of water present into that sludge okay that i told you then stabilization of organic matter contained in the sludge stabilization is very important step must be performed uh, when you are treating the sewage okay then destruction of pathogenic organisms why should go for stabilization because various chemicals are present into that and if we go don't go for the stabilization that the kind of neutralization so that chemicals may has uh, create the harm harmful problems to the uh, people who are handling this material so stabilization is an important step then the destruction of pathogenic organisms bacterial process by we are taking the help of bacteria during the treatment of waste water so there is a growth of microorganisms and bacteria we have discussed so that bacteria or pathogenic organisms must be killed otherwise it will create another problems then collection of by products which may be used sold to get some revenue okay uh, as manure is producing as a by product of this process this can be collected and it has to be sold properly to get generated revenue otherwise it will be a waste product then the disposal of uh, sludge in a safe and aesthetically acceptable manner disposal of sludge in a safe and aesthetically acceptable manner has to be done okay madam lectures are urgent take कशासाठी एक सेकंड गाईज प्लीज कॉपी दिस स्लाइड
ओके आई होप यू हैव फिनिश्ड दिस स्लाइड शेल वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट प्लीज रिप्लाई शेल वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट और डू यू वांट टू कॉपी दिस You can drop a message to me. Okay, someone has dropped a. Wait, ma'am. Okay, please continue. What the five four no ka amat na chal lao. Kya mai dia? Number two. Do kutha kutha do to he pana ta wala ne. Sangta hi nahi pana do to. Okay, I think someone has raised the question, man. Ma'am, ma can you repeat stabilization? Uh, stabilization is a simple process for making that uh, convert that product into comfort zone. I can say in a simple language. मुझे सॉलिड वेस्ट जे अपन तुम प्रोडक्शन मधुन सेमी लिक्विड फॉर्म मध्य बैक्टेरिया कंटैमिनेशन ड्राई पे ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम्स सेटलिंग आउट रिमूवल ऑफ केमिकल्स और न्यूट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ केमिकल्स प्रेजेंट इन टू दैट वे केमिकल्स वी नहीं अपन ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस मध्य सो न्यूट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ दैट केमिकल्स देन किलिंग ऑफ बैक्टेरिया एंड ड्राइंग एवरीथिंग विल कम अंडर स्टेबिलाइजेशन जो ऑर्गेनिक मैटर स्टैबिलाइजेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर कंटेन्ड इन द स्लज जो ऑर्गेनिक मैटर है तो डिकम्पोजिबल फॉर्म मध्य कन्वर्ट पे इफ फिनिश्ड यू कैन लेट मी नो अर्ध उ पानी संपला सातगर रिप्लाइड दैट शी हेज फिनिश्ड so i will wait for one more minute and then we'll go to the next point i think someone more completed so i will go to the next point okay now the sludge treatment and disposal comprise any following method or combination of these methods okay there are various methods and uh, these methods either you can go for one of these method or a uh, set of two these methods or you can Uh, use all these methods it depends upon what type of sludge is there what type of solid waste is there which you are treating okay accordingly you can go for the application of you, these methods the uh, combination of these methods the first one is the concentration method it is the reduction in the volume of sludge to be treated by pressing the sludge to a higher solids content okay we saw that dewatering also one and the same initially you can go for the remo uh, increasing the concentration by simple uh, and then you can apply the method which we saw the belt method for removal of 100% water and uh, making it dry okay so this is the concentration either you can use this only concentration concentration and treatment or you can use dewatering drying and treatment and the disposal will be the last one method then the treating treatment 
it is intended to stabilize organic matter stabilization treatment is nothing but stabilization destroy pathogens or to get by products of the process is it treatment in the sense you should kill the bacteria you should remove the uh, chemicals or you should neutralize the chemicals present due to that and then you should dry it everything comes under the treatment then the dewatering and drying it is the removal of water from sludge which decreases the sludge volume ek trakbhar jar sludge asel and te jar dewatered nasel tar tyala carry karna it is quite difficult we should make a special arrangement to transport that semi solid and if we have a, a, a dried it there is no need to take more effort simply we can transport it then the disposal if the receiving environment is legally aesthetically and ecologically acceptable the sludge can be disposed on the land or into the water okay so whenever you are disposing waste water you whenever you are disposing uh, solid waste you should take care of these three aspects what these three aspects environmental aspect aesthetical look and ecological aspect environmental as aspect in the sense it should not create the unhygienic environment in that particular area or it should not look a very bad it should not give a bad smell it should not give a bad look in that particular area and also you should take care of third step that is the ecological ecological in the sense if you are disposing the solid waste or the liquid waste in a nearby water body and the fish or other pathogenic oh, sorry uh, कैमरेच पाण्यामध्ये जगणाऱ्या अक्वॅटिक अॅनिमल्स अँड अक्वॅटिक प्लांट्स आर गेटिंग डाईड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डिस्पोजल इट शुड इट विल नॉट बी ऍक्सेप्टेड इज इट सो दिस वे इट शुड बी चेकड ऑन दिस थ्री आस्पेक्ट एन्व्हायरमेंटल आस्पेक्ट आस्थेटिकल लुक अँड इकॉलॉजिकल आस्पेक्ट बिफोर द डिस्पोजल ऑफ स्लज इन टू द नियर बाय लँड ऑर वॉटर बॉडी इट इज अप्लिकेबल टू द लँड ऑल्सो ओके so this is about the uh, sludge treatment okay or i can say here uh, the first part of this chapter is over okay now i request you to copy this slide uh, within 5 minutes so we can start the last part
over okay uh, thank you we'll go to the next point uh punnathanalla madam madam meeting so okay now the second half uh, at the time of discussion of the syllabus i told you this chapter is divided into two part the first one is the anaerobic treatment part which we have discussed now and the second one is the low cost treatment part okay now the low cost treatment part in that low cost treatment part we are going to see various processes methods which can be used for the treatment of the uh, liquid waste not i am not saying now forget about the solid waste okay forget about the solid waste which we have discussed up to here now again we are turning towards back to the uh, where, uh, domestic waste generated from the individual house okay now low cost treatment in the sense what is the low cost treatment we have discussed a typical treatment process for the waste water in the second chapter okay in a typical treatment process what includes first a screening then it will go to the primary cl uh, clarifier then will go to the aeration tank then secondary clarifier then activator plus process or trickling filter whatever may be there okay as per the solid as per the impurities present accordingly we can invest money and we can design a proper waste water treatment process is no, is the typical treatment process but many of the time for a small towns or the villages such funds will not be available for the treatment of sewage is it in that case you need to treat it sewage you are not supposed to waste it or dispose it without uh, treatment it has to be treated but it can be possible by uh, some uh, typical methods and that methods we are going to discuss under the point low cost treatment okay so the first method is the stabilization bond so what is this stabilization bond i will show you the figure for the stabilization bond you can see i think it is not clear i will try to show whether it is clear i have a clear stabilization bond okay if it is not clear i will search okay you can see here simple method a simple stabilization pond i will come back again uh, i will draw in the next lecture and i will make you to draw okay forget about that point so stabilization it is also known as the oxidation pond it is also known as the oxidation pond and again it is classified into three uh, types the first one is the aerobic oxidation pond second one is the anaerobic oxidation pond and third one is the facultative oxidation pond so first of all i will talk to you about the oxidation pond or the stabilization pond it will be look like this simple he fakta design vagera evda kay lakshat giu naka tumhi simple pond it is a simple pond simply uh, properly constructed pond open pond and in that you are uh, allowing to enter the sewage and uh, it will get naturally treated manje jat apan chemical add karto aeration karto kiwa parat कुठले वेगवेगळे फिल्टर्स वापरतो द नथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू हिअर वी आर अलाविंग इट टू ट्रीट नॅचरली मीन्स जस्ट यू आर यू आर सपोज टू अलाउ टू एंटर द वॉटर इन टू दिस टँक अँड इन दिस ओपन पॉइंट इट विल बी स्टोअर्ड आय दर इट विल गेट डायल्युटेड अँड द नॅचरली एरिएशन विल परफॉर्म अँड ड्यू टू नॅचरल एरिएशन ग्रोथ ऑफ मायक्रो ऑर्गॅनिझम विल परफॉर्म and that microorganism will decompose the organic impurities present into that sewage and this process will go on it will take lot of time almost 30 days 35 days will require to get complete decomposition or it will be a continuous process but it will be decomposed by the natural method natural way so how it get decomposed see here in this figure you can see a wind is blowing naturally sun is traveling there energy to or the uh, heat towards the earth surface and that is also natural so when wind is blowing that oxygen will mix into the water and when oxygen is mixing into the water it will release the odorable gases okay so second arrow will tell you about the uh, releasing of odorable gases so the raw waste settleable solids and uh, 
this is the algae algae do you know algae aquatic plants are known as the algae okay sheva wagere form dhalele asen so that will uh, decompose or uh, so that algae will release the oxygen and that oxygen will be consumed by the bacteria and bacteria will decompose the organic impurities and they will, that will release the or carbon dioxide ammonia phosphate and water okay so this will be the this way it will perform the aerobic treatment process but at the bottom there will not be the penetration of oxygen from top to bottom so that's why there will be a anaerobic condition and anaerobically the this four stage math, um, four stage model will come into picture and it will start the degradation of organic impurities getting so this is the process once again i will explain stabilization pond it is also known as the oxidation pond it is a simple rectangular or circular shape a tank we can design openly in a field and this can be performed three way first is the aerobic oxidation pond second one is the anaerobic oxidation pond third one is the facultative oxidation pond aerobic oxidation pond kadi asel ta tachi depth kami ani surface area jast asel त्या केस मध्ये तो एरोबिकली वर्क करेल इज इट ऑलमोस्ट पॉइंट एट और पॉइंट सेवन मीटर डीप वी कॅन कन्स्ट्रक्ट दी पॉन्ड अँड अलाउ टू एंटर द वेस्ट वॉटर बट सर्फेस एरिया विल बी लार्ज सो नॅचरल ब्लोईंग ऑफ एअर अँड ट्रॅव्हलिंग ऑफ सन्स रेडिएशन विल हेल्प टू क्रिएट द एरोबिक एन्व्हायरमेंट इन टू दॅट at the same टाइम वन मोर ॲक्टिव्हिटी ॲक्वॅटिक ॲक्टिव्हिटी विल हेल्प टू जनरेट the aerobic environment in such type of pond so what that anaerobic another uh, activity naturally because of sun is traveling their energy means photosynthetic activity will perform into that is it and if sun is penetrating their heat up to the bottom there will be a growth of algae and if there is a growth of algae uh, during the respiration it will re uh, release the oxygen and a uh, releasing of oxygen will get benefited to the bacteria present into the same water and they will decompose the organic waste and converts into the carbon dioxide and ammonia phosphate and water so this way the aerobic air pond can be constructed and work anaerobic uh, oxidation pond in that case it will be a deeper one more than 1.2 meter deep it can be constructed up to 1.5 meter deep you can construct it so such a depth will create a natural anaerobic environment into the particular tank manje thoda sa layer var cha nakara jo surface layer hai that will be uh, i think we are getting disconnected i will uh, restart this lecture you please get connected i have still time to, uh, to continue with you i have no call from hierarchy for the meeting until that i will continue with you so uh, that anan uh, i will take attendance also first